Let's do a problem. In this figure here, AD is the diameter of the circle and it bisects the angle formed between two chords AB and AC. That means this angle is equal to this angle. We have to show that AB and AC are equal chords. Let's discuss the approach for proving this question. Here we will make use of the fact that equal chords are equidistant from the center. For this, let us represent the center by point O. Let us suppose that OX is perpendicular to AB. So this is point X and this is perpendicular. And let us suppose that OY is perpendicular to AC. So this is point Y. If we can show that OX is equal to OY, then we can say that chords AB and AC of the circle are equal in length. For this, we can take help of congruence in triangles AXO and AYO. With this approach, let's complete the proof. So let us consider triangles AXO and AYO. In these triangles, AO is common Angle XAO is equal to angle YAO given in the question and angle OXY is equal to angle OYA equal to 90 degrees. So here we have the three corresponding parts. Therefore, we can say that triangle AXO is congruent to triangle AYO by AAS condition. By CPCT, we can say that OX is equal to OY. So OX is equal to OY. That means distance of the chords AB and AC from the center of the circle O is equal. Therefore, we can say that chords AB and AC are equal. So this is what we had to prove in the question. So for proving this question, we applied the property of chord that equal chords are equidistant from the center of the circle.